Do in March. Start again with a question. Yet you withheld the information from this congressional investigation. And in May, you assured this committee that all of Ms. Lerner's emails would be provided to us, yet you knew that that was not possible. No, in fact, I knew that, in fact, we would provide you all the Loris Lerner emails that we had. You already knew in March they were not retrievable. A, you didn't inform the congressional investigation. B, two months later, you told us you would provide all the emails without limitations. By and you knew you didn't have them. By March, I did not know that they were not retrievable. And in fact, you, we have retrieved 20, we have re we have retrieved 24 McDermott of those emails. That, that was the case. You knew. And in April, your agency informed Treasury about the problem, and Treasury agreed with you that Congress should be told as soon as it was able to. Our, Yet our, you didn't provide the information, and then you assured us you would provide all the emails without limitation, with no mention that you then knew two, three months into this that they weren't retrievable. As noted, and I think your record should make it clear, all of this issue is a result of our providing you a public and fulsome document about this matter. So we have not been hiding Mr. from Mr. Commissioner, sending a letter months after you knew the emails were supposedly lost, withholding the information from the investigation. You were aware there was a congressional investigation. I was Correct. aware there was an investigation. So you withheld the information. We did not withhold the information. You misled Congress we in May when you said those emails would be provided. We have provided you the information, and it turns out you've had the information you, for some time. Mr. Commissioner, you did not tell me under oath that you told us in February, in March, in April, in May that the information was lost. That was just what you said. Tell us that again. That in we February, that. March, April, I did not know if any information was lost. Yet, your agency had already in April communicated with Treasury Department about the problem. In the letter we have from Treasury says, we agreed with the IRS that it should inform Congress as soon as it is able. That, that is the letter today that exactly disputes what you just told us under oath. Exactly disputes it. That letter from Treasury reveals and provides to you all of the Lois Lerner emails so that there is no issue that any Lois Lerner email Mr. provided Fitz to anyone Payne, outside. Assistant Secretary for Legislative Affairs, quote, Treasury agreed with the IRS that it should inform Congress as soon as it was able. Yet you did not. We actually have provided you the information. My goal was You had not provided us any information. Well, in fact, we didn't learn till last week and then this week that you had supposedly lost the emails, not just from Ms. Lerner, but other persons of interest in IRS. There is no evidence that any of those emails have been lost either. And in fact, as I said earlier, my process has been to make sure that we had all Mr. of the facts Mr. when we provided them to you so that in fact... Why, at this point, why should anyone believe you? The IRS denied for two years targeting of, of Americans based on their political beliefs. That wasn't the truth. They said it was a few rogue agents in Cincinnati. That wasn't the truth. You said you were targeting liberal organizations. That wasn't the truth. And then you assured us you would provide us all the emails in May, and that wasn't the truth. And today, you're telling us out of thousands of IRS um, uh, computers, the one that lost the emails was the person of interest in an ongoing congressional investigation. And that is the truth either. This is the most corrupt and deceitful IRS <coughs> in the history. 